small hollow in North Carolina. There have been several Bigfoot sightings. Hunters may need to be on the lookout for something other than deer when they hit the woods this week. He hadn't been spotted recently, but according to these pictures, the legendary Mothman is back. The number of UFO sightings is soaring tenfold over the past 25 years. Now, she's not talking about people. She is talking about ghosts hanging around what some say is a real-life haunted house. You're listening to Paratalk Radio with Ted Wolf and Psychic Cindy on ParatalkRadio.com, a member of the WLFE digital broadcast family. Paratalk Radio is your one stop for all things paranormal, the unknown, and the supernatural. Join us every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central for discussions and guests on topics such as ghosts, hauntings, Bigfoot, UFOs, and more. This broadcast is rated M for mature and is intended for listeners over 16. The topics, views, and opinions expressed on our show may not necessarily reflect the views or opinions of Paratalk Radio, our hosts, or our sponsors. Now, live from J-Wolf Production Studio in Ontario, New York, here are your hosts, Ted and Cindy. Hi, everybody! (laughs) That's awesome. I finally got it right. (laughs) So, um, God, I can't believe it's been a week already. It's gone by so fast. So fast! Can you believe yeah. it is the 15th I know. of March? Like, it's, half of is, March is gone already. It's nuts, isn't it? It's like crazy. It is nuts! It's like, wow. It's, it's like 21 is flying by. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll it'll be 2022 before we even know it. Guaranteed. <laughs> you know, not, not that I'm rushing it or anything. Yeah, I don't want to rush it because my son has to graduate this year. My 50th is this year. Jansen turns 18. Wow. Jesse turns 30. Wow. My sister wow, turns means... 40. Yeah, that means you're old. <laughs> and I'm not old. <laughs> I just age like fine wine. <laughs> okay, whatever. All right, so uh, we got a really good show for everybody tonight. A really, really, excited really about big this. show. Really big. really big show. Really big and, show. And um, I just want to kind of let everybody know that next week's show, <laughs> Monday, um, we are talking to a couple authors who mm-hmm. have been involved in um, ufology for a long time. And they wrote this book. I've been reading it for- What is it called? UFOs. They've been into oh, you, ufology. Ufology. Yep. And right. I know I say it different than you. You know, I, I can't help it. I didn't it's understand one what of you said. Things, That's you know? all. Anyways. Um, ufology. But, yeah, ufology. So I've been reading their book now for, for a little over a month. And I'm telling you, I've had to go back and like highlight. And, and nice. all this. Th- this has got some- interesting information in it. so next week monday you do not want to miss this show it's going to be fantastic i mean if you ever wanted to know anything about aliens and the reasons and their, mm. their uh, theories and everything else this is going to be the one to watch we should yeah. do it at the shop then so john can do it too i don't even know if the the, the studio's even up because he said something about taking it down so i'll, I'll talk to him yeah so I'll talk to him, but this this will be awesome. So tonight's show, yeah. Um, I'm really really happy to say that you know we've had uh, we've had psychics and mediums and authors. We've had everything and anything on this show. You guys know that, and we love the people that we bring on. We normally have such a great. Um, what's the word I'm looking Report. for? Report. Report. Look at you. Look at you go. So, uh, yes, with these people. And I just, um, I, I think I, last week was great. I think this week is going to be awesome as well. Um, we have Maria, uh, I'm going to screw this up, Maldonado. That's how yep. I'm going to say it. Good job. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, she has been writing professionally for over five years. Uh, her first published audio book entitled Unearthly Spirits, True Stories of Ghost Encounters, tells about her personal encounters with the spirit world. She discovered wow. her abilities as an empath, sensitive, and clairvoyant as an early age. Sounds like somebody we know. Um, <laughs> maybe. Um, maybe. Maria has also been interviewed on several podcasts. She is a certified paranormal investigator as well as a voodoo in hoodooism, which I love 
hoodooism. I love them both. I mean, I did a little research on both. Some of it's very, very creepy, which is awesome. But the art behind that and the magic behind that is not what people, um, it's not like what you see on TV. So there's a lot to it. Before becoming a paranormal author, after obtaining her associate's degree, Maria worked as a teacher, which is very cool. Um, and I'll bet you 100% that helps her with the stuff that she does. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. She now feels as though it's time for her to share her knowledge and skills in the supernatural and paranormal field with other people. So that's why we've brought her here tonight with us here. On awesome. Part-time. I think it's going to be a great night. And I am so, 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 so excited. So, I want to read comments really quick and say hi to everybody, though, if that's okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go for it. Let's go. Hi, Michelle. How are you? She says, hey, guys and gals. Hey. Hi, D. Kirkpatrick. How are you? Kirkpatrick. Yeah. Sorry. Kirk. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Barry. <laughs> Kristen says, this is my second time here. <laughs> Whatever, Kristen. You're fired. She cracks me up. <laughs> and um, Barry says, the eyes of March. There you go. Dang it. I hate the I the Ides of March. Isn't that what um it was for Caesar, it, the Ides of March? It, it could be. But but look at Robert. Dang it, I hate daylight savings. I forgot about it too. I think a lot of people do. Yeah. Besides yeah, your phone updates automatically, so you don't really have to worry about it. Yeah, but but he doesn't I don't think they have it in Australia. So Oh really? I don't know. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. Robert. Mario Connor Sr. says time or pillow, guys. Hello, I love that. Somebody Hi, named Mario. That's amazing. Kristen! <laughs> what, what is she doing? She said I'm going to be 107 years old. Well, she's so full of it. <laughs> she Jason is, because I'm not in real life in Chicago. Yeah, Jason Cottom is here also. Ooh, the uh, bipolar DM. Hello. But did you see what Robert said? Oofology. Yep, oofology. There you go. Um, Robert says... Small, hey. mediums, and larges. <laughs> Hello, Bob Burnell. How are you as well? Thank you for joining us here. Hi, we Jason. Are, we are planning Hi, on a Bob. great one. Yeah. Jason. Hello, my friends. Day. Hello. I hope you guys are well. I'm sorry I'm eating. I did two readings back to back, and I had no time to eat before or after. I don't yeah. eat but once or twice a day, and so by the time I was doing my readings, I, and I, I don't understand how she complains about her weight, though, folks. <laughs> she, she's so damn skinny, mm-hmm. you know? So, I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Well, well, oh, Robert says Queensland does not do daylight savings. Oh, North South Wales does, mm-hmm. but not. but that ends April 4th. That's my birthday, Robert. Yep. All right. So we have her sitting in the back room. Let's not keep her waiting. Yeah. Um, I think this is going to be a lot of fun tonight. A lot of fun. La, la, la. Lots of fun. And lots of stuff yeah. to talk about. I've been digging into my paranormal kits these past couple days, uh, trying to get some stuff going because it looks like we're going to be opening up soon. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. So um, there's some stuff going on that we need to, I don't know, maybe talk about a little later. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, all right. Yeah. What? What? Stop. Calm down, girl. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited. Take you riddling. Hurry up. Anyways, um, guys, please welcome to the show Maria Maldonado. Here she is. Hello. Hi, Maria. Hi. Long time no see. <laughs> oh, damn chair. I see you got something to eat. I did. Good. And more drinks. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Well, you know, she's she's got to eat. We can't let her whittle away. Whittle away to nothingness. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we I, I read your bio quick and stuff. And uh, I, first thing I'm going to break out with, being a teacher, first of all, uh-huh. is amazing. It's an amazing oh. thing to be as far Thank as I'm you. concerned. Being able to teach our young you know, some very cool tool, even though some of the tools and some of the stuff we're taught, we don't feel like we ever going to use in the world. Right. You know what I mean? But it's like, yeah. Still no Prozac. Pros, oh, Prozac. Where Robert's <laughs> up there. Those guys, the, Robert's. Where, These guys uh, are so funny. Where is it? Oh, 
Ridlin be da be damned. Get her Prozac. <laughs> Funny. So Funny. Barry said that I think south part of Indiana doesn't do any clock changes too. Actually, Arizona doesn't do it either. Oh, that's crazy. So they're usually three hours. But while we are see, I thought daylight savings time was when we went in the fall. And that was daylight savings time, but Am I the only one that gets that screwed up? Apparently not, because you do too, right? I mean, yeah, I but forget. I thought, yeah, because I thought it was daylight savings time because we go back, so we have an hour more of daylight. I think right? we're just, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever, but exactly. But way, it's, um, while we are in that hour extra from fall to spring, Arizona is only two hours difference. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's get back to the topic at hand. Right. Maria, that's our topic. Yeah. Um, okay. So being a teacher, I just think it's amazing. I, I myself, I take a lot of pleasure in teaching my godson, who is a little autistic, um, mm -hmm. many things as well. You know, I think it's right. it's something that we all should be doing is teaching our children as we go along, not just to Absolutely. The teachers at, at the school because, you know, they can't be responsible for 100% of everything that goes on. We as right. parents should do it too, you know, so. Right. What age? Yeah. What ages did you teach? Um, it was preschool and then kindergarten. Aww. Awesome. Yes, absolutely loved doing. And they're it. super cute and so <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, but I absolutely loved doing it. Yeah, kids mm -hmm. are just amazing. I mean, they're they one are. Of the, that's one of the things that I can honestly say about our lifetime is like you know, when you have the ability or the chance to teach a kid or even just hang around a kid with all their innocence and see through their eyes. I mean, it's just amazing. The mm -hmm. one And they teach us yeah. as well. Oh, yeah. We learn yeah. from them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I think, oh, yeah. I think that's true of my readings, though, too, right? Sometimes we get lessons in there for them. Mm -hmm. We get it for ourselves. Yes. Or they will say something to us um, that is a lesson for us as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, man, everybody's bugging me. Um, cauliflower chips. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, why don't we, what? What? I just got a notice saying that watch party is going away. What do you mean? Cause we have the watch parties that we do. Yeah. April 15th, they're going away. Wait, why? It just says starting April 16th, 2021, watch parties will no longer be available on Facebook. So what mm. do we do instead? Create a watch party. Oh, Facebook, this is why I want to stop my lives with you. <laughs> <laughs> just so many problems. All right. So anyways, They're that's annoying. fine. Eh. All right. Anyways. Um, getting to um, our topic for the night. So, you know, there's a lot to talk about because you're an author first off and you've written a book. Um, yes. And so why don't you give us a little bit of information about the book um, okay. and then, um, your thoughts behind it. Mm -hmm. and, um, I don't know, something something that we can like maybe push it to, to some of our people as well. I think it's a, anytime a writer comes out, especially in the paranormal field, comes mm -hmm. up with a book, I, I like to give them the opportunity to tell us about the book and to, um, you know, see if our followers would like to grab one. Okay. You know, so book. it's an, okay. It's an audio book. So what I did was um, <clears throat> I wrote my first um, paranormal experience. I, you know, I like to write down things that, uh, you know, some people, they, let me see how I can put it. I when I have something going on in my mind, I like to write it down. Oh, yeah. Kind of, it's kind of like therapy. Right. So, um, I had my first paranormal experience when I was around seven years old, and I wrote it down. So then that gave me the idea to write down the ones that I could remember. Right. And so. My nephew took, because I said, what am I going to do with these? So my nephew said, well, why don't you just make an audio book? And I said, that's a good idea. 
Right. So that's what I had done. It was I had just got them together as an anthology, and I had hired someone because I couldn't, you know, <laughs> do it myself. And so I hired someone to um to uh, read them off and to create the audio book. So after that one, I um, now what I'm doing is I write fiction paranormal as well. Wow, cool. So, mm -hmm. so I'm going to put them together and have nonfiction and fiction paranormal and make it into an ebook. So that's what I'm working on right now. Cool. And I'm working on my first um, fiction full length book. Oh, shoot. So, yeah, wow. I mean, I just. I start writing and I love writing short stories. So I've been working right. on that fiction um, full length book for about two years because it's just every time I'm anywhere or if I'm trying to sleep, I can't sleep because <laughs> I get the idea of anything can pop in my mind and then I'm ready to write it, turn it into a um, paranormal story. So then here I go again with another short story. And I say, I'm just going to put them all together. You know, and yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. But yeah, Sounds the, like the um, audio book was, it was just something because it wasn't just my experiences. Um, my brother and my nephew had an experience. Wow. So I wrote, their, I wrote their story and, you know, I mean, I was a part of it. Right. And so I wrote their story, you know. Wow. Yeah, but it's it was fun, but sometimes it was spooky because I <laughs> yeah, right. I'm writing one now and I actually scared myself <laughs> when I was writing it. <laughs> so I had to get my sister to come downstairs and sleep in my room because I scared myself. And this is the fiction one. <laughs> but um, it was actually based on the song that we used to sing when we were children. And um, to scare each other, but oh, I, gosh. yes, but I turned it into a story, you know. But yeah, when um, reliving my first experience is it's hard because my sister couldn't talk about um, the whole thing because it happened in a house we lived in. Oh, yeah. and I didn't even know that she had saw this person until we were adults. Wow. So, and I didn't know that my brothers had saw him as well until wow. we, because they can't talk about it. Right. Wow. So, yeah. So that was actually my very first paranormal story. That I had. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing. You know, I, I guess it's like uh, it, so many people like i don't know when when i had my first experience i just i wanted to know more i, I mean sure mm -hmm. i was scared i had a little bit of like you know you know i'm gonna shit my pants or whatever but at the same time it's like you know i i i want to know more so for mm -hmm. me you know when i became a paranormal investigator i mean i just kept diving in head first mm -hmm. and and you know part of the whole thing of being an investigator is there there is that scariness or spookiness about it exactly you know? and some didn't, people didn't, feed off of it yeah exactly mm -hmm. but then some people just look at it as hey this is like uh this is a part of it so i've got to get used to it you know and you find a way to to hopefully in your mind create like bumpers for it so to right. anticipate you know being scared or you know something just a little freaky or spooky or whatever but um i think most people in general, though, when they have an experience, they don't talk about it because right. they don't want people to think that they're nuts. So, exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to tell nobody. I'm not going to tell nobody that. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I ain't telling <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen, it was a, there was a long time before I told anybody because my sister and brother and I, my younger sister and my younger brother and I, we used to play with the ghost boy that lived in our house. Mm. I thought that was normal. I, I right. 
I didn't talk about it, but I thought it was normal until mm -hmm. I started talking about it and then found out like, oh, you guys don't do that. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> you don't see him like I do. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because some of my family members never saw him. And um, but at first they didn't know, you know, what I was talking about when I first, you know, saw the man in the other room. And how old and, were you when you first saw him? I was about seven. Wow. Yeah, and, so seven. Um, That's kind of scary at seven years old. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And then my sister actually saw him differently than I did. You know, oh. she used to have conversations with him and he didn't look scary to her. Mm. Whereas to me. And then I found out that because um, he was teased because he had hydrocephalus. So it oh. deformed his head. What is that? It's like um, what they call water on the brain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. My sister has it as well. So, um, and, um, so I'm wondering, is that the connection that, that those it two have? Been. That's what I was just thinking is there must have been mm -hmm. some type of connection. Right. And But when I saw him, he looked totally different to me. He scared me, mm. you know? Wow. But, yeah. But she said he used to visit her and talk to her. You know, hmm. but I, I was like, oh, no, I saw him completely different, you know. But yeah, so um, but I never I told my family then. And when they when my mom saw him, you know, she knew I was telling the truth. Right. But wow. I mean, she never said that I was lying. But, you know, but once she and he had committed suicide and I the totally picked that up. I was going to mm -hmm. ask you. Mm -hmm. That's what well, I, I think. I think because Singing? you know the 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 thing with kids, well, you know what they don't know. I'm sorry, they didn't know okay. if he. Some people said he hung himself, but some people said he shot himself, and it was a big hole in the wall in the back mm. room. Mm -hmm. Maybe he tried and yeah. missed, and then hung himself afterwards. Yeah, we don't know which one. You know, so and then he told my sister that his dad had had killed him. So. Wow. Yeah, and and I mean we don't know because his dad was very was was it was very mean. I didn't know him because I was just a little kid, but my right. um, oldest siblings knew him. But I don't know, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah I, was, all I was gonna say was earlier when you were talking about when you you and your sister when you described how it how this thing looked and, and different is like we've known from you know over the years of investigating that. There are times that people in the same room see something, but they do look different. They don't look right. the same. Right. Um, and I think it's because our brains are all different. We all perceive something different sometimes. Mm -hmm. it's That's like, true. You know, uh, well, think about it. If like you flash a picture in front of five people, they're all going to say mm -hmm. something totally different. Mm -hmm. You know, It's just your brain is the way it, you know, it takes it on. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But, Sorry, they're funny in the I'm not laughing oh, at Oh, I see that. I see that. I'm sure. laughing at they're they're teasing me about what I eat. That oh look, Cindy's here and oh wait, she's eating? How strange. <laughs> How strange. And then Barry says, Hi Tom, but she isn't eating pudding. <laughs> and then Rob and Joan Carter say, and you never leave an empty chair on cart on camera, Tom. Because Tom does that a lot. But these people are just like they they're all from like our network in some way. Shape, no, that's form. good. They, they tease yeah. each other, they have mm. fun with each other. You know, mm, that's um, very good. <laughs> yeah, it is good. You know, we just need to sometimes kind of ignore them though. <laughs> no, I love them. We do not ignore we do not ignore anybody. <laughs> well, we're in the middle of an interview, so you know. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny though. Um, you know, you it, it's kind of typical for individuals that when they have um an experience, whether it's paranormal or you know, UFO or whatever, they tend to let it play over in their mind and, and then eventually write it down. And right. It, yeah. I think it's because we have to release that. You know, yes. we can't let it yes. keep sitting back there and beating us up. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have to put because, it down on paper and get rid of it. Because you'll mm -hmm. question yourself, like, did I see what I saw? Yes, right. Am I? Okay, 
let me get this straight. Okay, I really, did I say this? No, I didn't. It's not possible. Yes, I did, but mm -hmm. no. Yes, and it's an internal battle that we have. We just mm -hmm. talked about this on the last show too, because I think it was our show that, you know, I had an experience and it's like, I kept beating myself up over it. It's like, did I really see that or not? You know, and mm -hmm. it's like, but it's, yeah. it's our brain is just between the, the connection to our eyes, to our brain and trying to figure out what we see. It's right. like your brain says, nope, this is what it was, even though it might've been this, but this mm -hmm. is all we recognize. So that's what right. we're doing you. You know? Yeah. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's crazy. But the, the good part about that is you were able to take that experience and write it down. So now right. like with my experiences, I always thought, Hey, if I write this down, if I put this in a book, then, you know, if somebody else experiences it, they'll, they'll know they're not the only ones that, exactly. that maybe what I write down. Yes. Could help them. Right. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. so. yes, and I and that think was, that's great for you. Yeah. Yes. That was one of my uh, major goals because mm -hmm. so many people have these experiences mm -hmm. and they keep it in because people they will label them you know ah oh, they're dead crazy or they're making it up and so yeah. i just wanted people to know you're not alone when it comes to right. these yeah. experiences so right. exactly. you know i mean you know i had to wait i mean i have friends that have no idea you know that yeah. i can um yeah. sense something before it happens and i have one working friend that knew that you know, and I, 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 you know, people would say, how did you know? I'll say, I, I don't know because, you right. know, but I don't, I never talked about it. You know, I never talked about things that happened in my childhood because, you know, people will, they'll either laugh oh, at you. Yeah, they'll judge you instantly. Oh, yeah. Instantly. You know? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Humans are nasty creatures. I don't care what anybody says. We really mm -hmm. are. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, the other thing is like uh, when you started out the conversation about writing things down, um, I have anxiety and panic attacks. So mm -hmm. for me, one of the first things that I learned growing up was grab a notebook, start writing, get it out of your head. It'll right. help you calm down. Mm -hmm. So I, right. I used to write like I've got probably 15, 20 journals in my bedroom of just me writing random mm -hmm. like things in my head until mm -hmm. I finally figured out what the problem was and got on medication. So I don't have to write anymore for right. that reason. But right. now I'm, I'm able to concentrate and, and write things that I want to write about. Right. You know, and not. Yes. So, yes, um, but it's great. You know, it, it, and it makes you feel relieved in so many ways that you're able to, mm -hmm. to write that stuff down. Mm -hmm. yeah. It does. They're, they're still picking on you there, Cindy. It, can you put the put the last one up? That's his Mario's. Yeah. Mario's. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at and then um. Nice. Uh, Robin <laughs> Joe, you ignore us never. And then Barry says, "Please don't ignore me." <laughs> I don't ignore yeah. you guys. These guys are funny. <laughs> You know, but you know what? Without, oh, excuse without me, that, I got, I'm getting that particulate off. <laughs> <laughs> without, without these guys in the back room, I mean, they, they're they love to have fun, but at the same time, they come up with some good things to to mm -hmm. you know questions, and they, they really get into. I mean, they so, come up with great questions too, and mm -hmm. that's yeah. that's awesome. Right. Yeah. And they're they're very dedicated, you know, to what we do. You know, that's most good. of them are, anyways. You know, um, mm -hmm. but so now. When did you find out that you were a psychic and a clairvoyant and all that around the same time? Um, well, at first, I didn't really understand what was going on. I just knew that I, when something was in my mind and, and then it would happen. And I, it was starting to kind of freak me out. Now I've been into, you know, I was, I was, really spiritual when I, I started, I think, you know, learn about angels and, and demons and, you know, getting into, uh, I, I would hear like adults in my family and they would, you know, talk about the voodoo and everything like that when I was very young, maybe 15. Mm -hmm. um, but 
I would, I could tell when something would happen to somebody, I wouldn't know it would happen before it did. And I was young, oh, sure. you know, I would be in my teens, but I didn't, you know, back then I didn't understand what was going on, you right. know? Yeah. So maybe yeah. in my twenties or something like that, I, I started more learning of what it was. Right. Yeah. It put yeah, me into a depression. cognitive type of like visions or, you know, things like that. Was it a vision or deja it vu? Was, I mean, kind of combination. It was kind of a combination, you know, like, um, uh, it was like when, when I was in my early twenties, I had gotten married and my a husband, my, you know, when I, then his, his grandmother was very sick. Wow. I knew when she was going to pass away oh, and I, I felt it. I felt sorrow around her, even though she mm. did not look sick to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. interesting. Mm -hmm. So, so did this happen when you guys didn't know she was sick yet? I didn't know it. I guess mm -hmm. they knew it or, but I didn't know it. She didn't look sick at all. Sort of like you an know, empathic but, connection of some type, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and yeah, and the thing is, I don't. <laughs> it, it depresses me because I told my sister this was in 2014, but it was before a couple of years before because my brother moved into his own his um, own um, senior living apartment, and because um, he was living with his daughter but she had moved overseas. So he moved into a, a senior living apartment. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it because I saw him having a stroke. He did not have the stroke until 2014, but I saw this a couple years before he had it. And um, my uh, ex-sister-in-law husband was dying of cancer. Mm. This was just maybe last year, year before last. And I actually, because I started telling people, so they, not her, but I told my sister, I said, he got into, I said, I know when he's going to pass away and it's going to be on Thursday and a week. And I told her ahead of time and he actually passed away that next Thursday. And then my sister, my elder sister, she passed away on November the 22nd of 2019. And I told them when she was going to pass away was going to be that Friday. Because that Wednesday, I felt a disconnect from her. Like my breath was just like, <sighs> and she passed away that Friday. So now, and um, I see Rob asking me, am I comfortable with my gift? I call it a curse. Because oh. I don't like it at all. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't like it at all. Um, I never liked it. It it depresses me because I don't I don't like having it. You know. Hmm. What would you? I love my gifts. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I'm I, I'm curious as in what do you think it would take for you to get to be comfortable with it though? I mean, it's I been. I've had it all my life, so I and I'm not comfortable with. I've never been comfortable with it. When I was a teenager, um, let me see. When I was 14, I actually attempted suicide because oh. I couldn't understand what was going on. And when I was 18, I was actually um, coaxed by a spirit to commit suicide oh. and oh I, I attempted it and you know well it didn't work obviously mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm yeah I'm, I'm very grateful it didn't you know right. but yeah it's 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 no fun and it's not just me and the family that have this gift you know mm -hmm. but yeah and we think we got it from our mother you know because she mm -hmm. used to say when we lived while we live here when she was alive she would say that she see things but she wouldn't tell us because she said because mm. it's gonna scare you ah. but, mm -hmm. now have you 
been able to trace your lineage then to know where you've like where you've you know like was there anybody in your family in the past that was ritualistically into voodoo and hoodoo and all that stuff or is it that's actually what i'm that's doing right. now that's what i'm doing now and i did um um ancestry but now i'm gonna do um 23 and me so um i, that's I love I'm... 23 and me i did 23. oh really yep i did 23 and me yeah that's <laughs> what i'm gonna do next because i did ancestry I... yeah i need to do ancestry Mm -hmm. uh, my mom did ancestry and my aunt, my cousin, and I wanted to, I wanted to, my sister also did ancestry, but I did 23 and me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now yeah. I know I had, um, um, relatives that was from, uh, West Africa where voodoo actually started. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, and I have relatives in, um, other regions as well, but, um, and new orleans you know but it's just that with everything that's going on right now because i'm moving next mm -hmm. month so i really haven't had the time to really dig into it but i am going to do um 23 and me as well so i can find out you know mm -hmm. what actually where this all started i've never done any of those things i i'd like to but i just i haven't i and is 23 and me the one with the DNA? I mean, I think Ancestry is now too, right? They all are yeah. the DNA thing. Yeah, but I think um and I think 23 and me was the first ones where you can actually do something about your health. But now you yes. can do that. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, now you can do that it's a very very comprehensive list. Mm -hmm. I I didn't do that part, but that I still want to do that side of it. Mhm. Mm Mm -hmm. that, um, my girlfriend did that part of it, and that's why I wanted to do Twenty Three and Me as opposed to Ancestry because it didn't have the heart, the health mm -hmm. aspect to it. Mm -hmm. uh, Robert just said that I, uh, I saw that I was going to bring Bale it up. Junior died quick. today in custody, and so for any of you that don't know and understand, that is the Amityville horror killer Ronald right. Bale Jr., and yeah. he died in prison today at sixty nine. Yep, I saw that. I didn't wow. see that until he just told me. So I looked it up and I'm like, wow, I can't believe he died. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, Barry, I'll be honest with you. I don't know the difference between the two um, myself. I have no idea. Um, he wants so, to know the difference between 23 and me and Ancestry. I have no idea. So the main difference was that health aspect of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how big Ancestry is, but, but 23 and me is pretty comprehensive with their health. Mm -hmm. Everybody that adds into it, because mine has changed over over the time that I have. So the more that people do it, like even my, I, I had like, it it said, um, uh, it has like, it gets more precise with the more people that do it. They right. Work markers and it can be anywhere anything from like your nash your ethnicity and where you were born um like where your genes came from right and they go back that far and uh mm -hmm. they even have like they check neanderthal kind of mm -hmm. things as well on 23 and me and i don't know how well i know uh, where my genes came from your parents? Mine, mine did. Mine Walmart. Did. I buy my jeans at Walmart. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> my That's jeans funny. Came from, my jeans came from, Teddy, where were we talking about yesterday? Hot Topic? Hot Topic, yeah. yeah mine just, came from Hot Topic. They are yeah. I don't wear them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we, we talked yeah. yesterday because there was a, a, <laughs> yeah. a lady apparently was having a, a fit about hot topic stores and stuff it's all satan it's all satan colored haired people that work there <laughs> yeah it was it was weird. oh it was my weird. goodness and those gay people for god's sake <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah what did what did she say ultimately the gay the the homo santis uh santa uh Homo Satanic homo something homophobic. I'm like, oh my rainbow God. haired people go yeah. there. 
I'm like, oh my God, it's 2021. Get over yourself. Yeah. Oh I just tell, I just like to say, you know, there were some blasphemous shit in the Bible, friends. There was some <laughs> blasphemous shit. Yeah. There's a bunch of misogyny. There's a bunch of anal. There's a whole Babylon that was brought mm -hmm. down. Right. Mm -hmm. All of the anal going on. Let's yeah. just be real. Mm -hmm. right. And it wasn't just women and men doing ho oh, ho 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 no. <laughs> Poor Maria. I was like, I should have warned her. I should have warned her. You never know what's going to come. I got that. Out. You know what I got? I got that. I got the. Do you yeah. hear the beeper? <laughs> no. You Nothing. Hear? Oh, shit. <laughs> On my end, when somebody swears, I can hit the B button and it goes. Oh. Beep. Oh, no. ah, thank God you can't do that to me because I can't all beep I you. Say. Damn. You can't bleep me. Man, I tried. All right. <laughs> Spirit so, doesn't let you bleep me, I guess. <laughs> apparently not. So, um, so let's talk about now. You were talking briefly. You talked about um, angels and demons too. Now, mm -hmm. yes. What is your I don't, why don't you give an idea of what you mean by by the angels and demons? Do you mean history, or do you mean what people see, or? Well, it's a little bit of everything, um, and uh, and of course things are are you know everybody have their different take and opinions on it, um, but I had studied this uh, hey, Danny, again. I started a long time ago, but I um let me see. I uh, you know when people talk about angels and. And some people say you're not supposed to worship angels. And, you know, I I do. I mean, I, I collect angels. But the misperception about them is, is the, when people say they see an angel and they have the two wings. And I think and, most and people know angels, what? two wings. Oh. Yeah, but, you know, they have four, except for the seraphims have six. And they can come in any any form you know they could be a person that they can look like us mm -hmm. you know yep. but um you know they can look like us but um someone had said that they saw i think i don't know if you heard the story before that they said they saw an angel in chicago somewhere and it's like no that wasn't an angel if they because they said they had they, they saw the two wings and it was like a creature and um but it's like I well know, if I you see him with two wings. Hmm? I said I always see him with two wings. No, they don't have actually two wings. no not the ascended masters. I don't see wings on them usually at all. Right. And and they don't have two wings. They have or the um archangels, I don't see wings on them usually. Right. And the reason why is because they have the four wings that the regular angels have four wings. It's to um what is it to cover their feet? and to fly and then the up the ones that have the six wings is to cover their feet to fly and to cover their faces because you're not supposed to see their faces um but boy um oh. yeah and then you know it's, it's all about what you you know for centuries we've been taught these things you know angels have two wings demon demons have horns and a tail they you know like satan satan did not have a tail and horns you know so when you when people um you know see the spirits um yeah the mothman um when you know people and and it's not you know anyone's fault when you think you saw a demon you know when it's a spirit because it's in our minds that demons, well, socially we've been beat up. That stuff has been implanted in our heads over oh, yeah. the right. Exactly. Where you know the the church has told us that that Satan had horns and he well he they used that. Before, they used yeah, that as the right. image of Satan. They did. Exactly. is not Baphomet is not Satan. Baphomet is Baphomet. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Completely different yeah. entity than Satan or the devil. 
Well, right. I mean, it's and it's than, than, than witchcraft, where the inverted pentagram was supposed to be evil, a sign of satanic <laughs> worship. And you got not, it. Right. Not. You got it. Yeah. Um, and that's that's all a sad thing, you know. But when it comes to spirits and their mm -hmm. apparitions or whatever, they know that that um, we believe this. So they may appear to us this way. Mm -hmm. Because we don't know better. You know, some people know no better. And the inmates so, have a good sense of humor, and they're just doing it to get back at us. I mean, who the hell yes, knows? You know, they yes. could be saying, oh, this is what you're used to, so this is what I'm going to be. Exactly. You know? Yeah. And, and, I, I, I would yeah. never I masters are standing right here in front of me. I don't see any wings. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, some of them don't have them. And the archangels, the archangels, I keep saying Ascended Masters, the archangels mm -hmm. don't have wings. They don't show mm -hmm. them. Yeah, and someone just mentioned Mothman. Mm -hmm. you yeah, know? Robin Joan Carter did. Yeah, yeah. and um, we had, <laughs> my brother and I, it, and it's so it's weird, I, I guess we have more of the um, sensitive um, I don't know what you want to call it, energy in us. Mm -hmm. We're the ones who always, when we're ever together, that's when something seems to happen. Um, but two years ago, I was coming because I was a jewelry consultant. So I had a, had an event um, about an hour away from here. So we were coming home. It was a fall. Where are so you located, was, Maria? I'm in Maryland. Oh, Maryland. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we were coming from an event and it was about nine, 930 at night. Mm -hmm. And my sister was with us because she would go to help me. And we were at a red light. So we were coming this way and the other traffic was coming towards us. And it was this big, I'm talking maybe seven feet wingspan shadow over the car. Wow. And I was like, what the bleep is that? <laughs> and it was, and it was so huge that I wish he was in here because he's out in the living room. But the cars that was coming towards us mm -hmm. actually stayed at the red light, and some people got out of their vehicles and looked. Wow! That's and then I told him I said I wonder if they're going to report it on the news. Nobody said anything. That's nothing crazy yeah and now you know that they say I, I mean this is just me speculating but you know they say like right before is something that happens a catastrophe mothman is around and wow. you know like, yes yeah, so look what happened we got covid so maybe that's the connection <laughs> i don't know, oh, I don't know. That's what they say, though. they say that mothman comes out before these like disaster kind mm -hmm. of things Mm -hmm. And when did that happen for you? I think it was um, 2019. Wow, that would yeah. make sense then. I got goosebumps. Right? Okay, somebody, Robert is saying, in, hi, injured girl. How's your shoulder now? Did Chanel Yeah, get Chanel got hurt. Yeah, Chanel got hurt. What happened, Chanel? Yeah. What? But, oh my goodness! I'm sorry, honey. I'll send you so, some. So you know energy. the thing with with you know it's funny because with Mothman and stuff like that. I think too it's like Native Americans used to have this whole thing that when certain things, certain events happened, whether it be destruction or um, a big event was going to happen, there was always some type of sign. There was uh, mm -hmm. the vision of yeah. something happening, like mm -hmm. the the owl in some uh, Native cultures or indigenous cultures. The owl represented death, where in oh, other parts of it, it represented, that. yeah. And then on the other hand, the owl represented wisdom. Yeah, know? I was gonna say um, Athena's owl. Well, it's so wisdom. for like the 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 pagan culture, the the owl always meant wisdom, but in the indigenous side, it always meant either death or death was coming. It was mm -hmm. a warning. So it's sort of like the same thing as like when people claim to see like the Mothman or. Mm -hmm. um certain creatures or whatever mm -hmm. i think they associate that with it because mm -hmm. of what they know back we're back to what social programming again mm -hmm. yeah, to what right, we're right, right. Mm -hmm. and 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 that's 
unfortunately, the way life is for yeah. human beings on this planet, mm -hmm. we're ran by our government, we're ran by the people in power, mm -hmm. uh, people above us, and it goes from, you know, Washington, D.C., all the way down to our own town mayors, to our own mm -hmm. ministers, to our own teachers, to our own mm -hmm. whatever. We're trying to go things, for you know, matriarchal so. again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cindy, <laughs> shush. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> but you know oh, it's, i'm telling you it's coming i know yeah. i know what you say you know but mm -hmm. it's like we we have to remember that a lot of the things that are described to us especially in the paranormal when we are told things or seen things that it's not necessarily what was actually seen it was just that's what their their mind mm -hmm. put together because of the social mm -hmm. you know um Sorry about that. It was all because of the the the, the mind training, the the yes. what we're told and how we're raised, our right. environment, right. for said everything. So, you know, it's unfortunate, but it is. You know, Barry just put up here, uh, Moth Mothman provides warnings for the future and unfortunate events. Is that what you said earlier, Cindy? Yes. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what. That's so what I just saw. I just saw. Like but predictive of 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 things to come yeah. things yeah. happening mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. um oh, not we saying it was a moth man but you know because i didn't I see it surprise me i just saw that yeah. huge um shadow and other people did too and it caught their attention but you know yeah it's mm. crazy that so many people had seen it and stopped or looked even yeah mm. mm -hmm. Uh, we have a little bit on here saying <laughs> we have a little bit on here saying hi, gorgeous Cindy. Hello, Ted, and hello, Maria. Hello. Oh, hi, little bit. Yeah. Hi. Um, I love hi, it because Robert. I didn't see Robert White was uh, now nah, the queen can't even control it? her own grandson, so so matriarchy isn't working either. <laughs> Wait a second, though. That matri that that's not a matriarchal society. First of all, that's not matriarchy. That mm. is a, a, a terrible system that nobody wants to live in. That is a monarchy, <laughs> not a matriarchy. That is some homophobic, racist <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Let's be real. Let's call some shit some shit. <laughs> Don't oh try to fool me none just because they think that there's a woman. She's not, she's not in charge. Dominic, they got Dominic's, Parliament. Remember, friends. All right, so Dominic says no, no, hello. No, hey, Hi, every Dom. time I want to talk, you're jumping on top of me, man. Stop it. Stop take your Riddlin. Talk then. Take no. Take your Riddlin. I don't take Riddlin. I'm kidding. Uh, so Steve Barry's on here. He says Queen Queen rules. I believe Queen is awesome, but not that kind of Queen. I get you. I understand. Um, let's start singing. Let's start. Which, what do you want to start singing? Uh, let's Dominic sing says, Hello, song. Cindy. We are the champions. We are the champions. Steve Perry says, Cindy drunk? Um, I don't know. What? I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> Could you want to imagine that? <laughs> no, I don't want to imagine that. But, well, we've got a couple minutes here before I take a quick break, but. You know, it seems like uh, from what oh, we were talking about earlier, what? I want to see what Mario is saying about Lakota culture. <sighs> we in Lakota culture mm -hmm. call him the Hiha Wikas. Okay. And it's probably not the way it was spelled, the White Owl. Back to the question. Those being told me 2014, there was going to be a lot of death thousands. Just to let you tell people that is them being that telepathy speaking to us nobody won't listen to this it is their proof listen uh i know that so i don't call it just telepathy because we don't it's not just telepathy anymore it's 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 that we are it's it is called quantum communication that's what spirit told me more than 10 years ago now quantum communication is how we are being communicated to now it is telepathy it's it's feeling it's it's more than just telepathy but right. that's yes that's how spirit communicates they communicate mind to mind we don't yes, i don't absolutely. communicate with my mouth and i right. think it's super cute when a dead person communicates with their mouth because i'm like oh i can't understand you you got 
you got to use your mind to talk to me, honey. <laughs> you know, so it's, it is all about quantum communication. It is the meta communication. It is more than just this archaic device. This we don't mm -hmm. use in spirit. This is not something we use. That's why it is so much more powerful here. This is archaic. We don't use it. You know, our thoughts have a lot of meaning and, and, and power. But when we back it up and use this to enunciate that thought, oh, shit, you just gave something a lot of power. So it better be something good, good for the fucking universe, as opposed to being something negative. Mm -hmm. You go, girl. That's right. <laughs> Listen, spirit has been with me. Spirit's been in the house all day. And... Uh, I haven't had a moment to myself today. I have been old with the spirits. I have been old with the spirits, and they just want me to be talking to them today. I, I think we're taking our break early. <laughs> Listen, you got to have a sense of humor with spirit, because otherwise they'll be like, what? We need to lighten her up. <laughs> I get it. I get it. All right, so, yeah, I think we're going to do that. We're going to take our our break like a couple minutes early so um everybody hang in there we'll be right back with maria maldonado right is that how i said yep. it you got the right it. way yeah. Yay! teddy's good he did it All right, <laughs> I'm, well, proud <laughs> I'm proud of me too <laughs> all right guys we'll be right back in just a moment don't go anywhere <laughs> oh yeah life just got sweeter now that wlfe db has merchandise show your support by purchasing your t-shirts for wlfe paratalk radio inside the drag closet and more but it doesn't stop there t-shirts coffee mugs tanks buttons, cloth bags, and more. Go to wlfe-db.com. On the top bar, click on the merchandise tab, and bam, there you go. You got merch. Support the shows. wlfe-db.com. You know, we've been sitting here talking with Maria, and um, Cindy's been doing her norm, which has been great. Uh -huh. 
And uh, <laughs> we've been talking about everything from um, the paranormal to um, angels and demons to um, her books. Um, she's also a teacher. We have been talking about a lot of things, just having like, you know, kind of like coffee and chat and have some fun here and, and uh, kind of discuss things. And uh, it's candy. An, oh, and eating candy. Um, I had my donut earlier in between, but um, it's amazing how over the years, like you, you were saying, Maria, that this started out like seven years old for you mm -hmm. um, and then finding out that your siblings are the same way. You know, right. they, they experience things. I, I know that my siblings do too. Um, and, and different, but they, it's definitely different for them as well. We don't have right. the same, you know, and that's part of our, I think our gene, well, our genes, the way we're made up. And, and um, as when we get to a certain age, we all split apart and go our own way. So we learn right. differently as well. We add to our, you know, our brains and certain things. So, it changes a lot over the years, but mm -hmm. we learn. And one thing right. about being in the paranormal field or being a sensitive, being a, um, a clairvoyant, uh, an empath or a psychic, mm -hmm. and one of the things that we realize that we have to, we have to continue <laughs> to learn every single day. Right. Yes. You know, and that develops our spirit. I mean, it develops mm -hmm. it more to a fuller, you know, like vibration. You know, we right. have to continue, you know, yes. so uh, Mario says, and it's translation to English owl man. <laughs> okay. Nice. Barry yes. said, blah, 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 Cindy. Barry. Yeah. yeah. Vacation is over Barry. too from the, from the, when the commercials were playing. So yes, we're back. Um, which is funny. Cindy and needs a uh, break. Doesn't yeah. need a break. Just because people speak for Cindy and think Cindy needs a break does not mean Cindy needs a break. Cindy is fully <laughs> capable of saying when she needs a break. Why does this make me think of the conservatorship for Brittany? I don't know, but you know what? All it, all it did for me was give me a break, give me a break, <laughs> break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. That's all it did to me. I mean, I don't know. But, all right, so paranormal. So, like, you've experienced a lot of things over your over the years, you know. And yeah. was there anything that uh, would stick out to you that uh, um, gave you something that you didn't realize before? Like, something that stood out in your mind that maybe um, educated you in some way? Um, I didn't realize that um, I was a sensitive um, I thought that I just could see, um, I'm going to use the term ghost. Um, I didn't realize that they were actually um, communicating with me. I thought that I saw them sometimes, but I didn't mm -hmm. realize that they were communicating with me. Mm -hmm. And so um, until, oh my, maybe... Uh, just a few years ago, actually, um, that's when I found out all about, you know, me being a sensitive and, um, that just made everything, you know, more of, I really need to find out what mm. is, you know, more well, opening into, doorways. Right. Yeah. And, oh, wait, so, so you didn't know you were a psychic medium or. I didn't know that I was a sensitive. Which mean you know you know what that is you know when the spirits content that there you are really in tune with this with the spirit world they come to you you know and um, when I uh, was in my apartment uh, and again 2014 I had an ex 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 experience that spooked me um, I was there by myself I was eating dinner and I was in my dining room and. I heard a, a noise sound like a um, transistor, but it was like white noise, you know, the noise of a transistor. And at first I thought it was my TV, but I had my TV muted. And then I heard it again. And this is gonna lead to what I'm doing right now, but um, I heard it again. Hmm. So I'm, I'm listening really hard. And then I heard, help me. 
I'm like, what is that? So then I said, hello. And they said, help me. This is Mary. I know my spirit guide's name is Carolyn. So um, I, <laughs> I got on the phone. I called my sister because I didn't have my car then. I was like, um, can you come pick me up? Because you know, I wasn't feeling it that day. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not going through this shit. Today. I'm sorry. I'm no, not going fine. through this today. No, you. So, I obviously have sworn. Yeah, you're you're <laughs> so good. We are we are today. You know. So, um, a friend of 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 ours, they live in a mobile home um, development, mm -hmm. and. We go there, well, not really that much now, but we used to go there all the time to see my nephew. And at the beginning of the mobile home development, it has five graves there. Oh and my gosh. Yeah, I can tell you the name of it, but you know, because it's not, um, it, I mean, I'm it's. I'm investigating it now, but I've been investigating it for a few years now. But, um, and I was like, why do they have five graves here? That's just kind of strange to me. Right. But when I went there, I just felt like it was more than that there. I mean, I yeah. really, it's like something's not right here. So what I had, what I did was I got in touch with the paranormal um, group and they got me in touch with someone else that they knew that was closer to me. Mm -hmm. So what I told them, I emailed them. I said, now, don't answer me unless you're the real deal. I said, because I am. So I said, so don't answer me. I won't be angry if you cannot do this. I said, right. but I feel like I need help. So they came out. And um, so they, you know, and I told them everything. I took them right to where we met at the grave site where it was the five graves. And I said, now nah, I'm telling you something's missing here. And I said, and I, and I had, I told them about the experience with Mary, the name Mary. And so they said, well, we'll help you out and we will, um, you know, because uh, one of the uh, family members still live in the neighborhood. So they said, well, we'll help you out. I was like, okay, great. Didn't hear from them again. I texted them. I emailed them everything. They just left me hanging. Oh, so I said, like, okay, well, I'll do it myself. So I um, did some, um, I took a picture of one of the headstones and I researched the name on it. And it was actually, it was five there, but one had gotten removed. I said, well, I knew something was missing. The person I got re removed, her name was Mary. Oh. So, yeah. So my brother's like, I think you better leave this alone. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you better walk away, Maria. Yeah. yeah, he said, you better leave this alone. So it's been a couple of years. But then this weekend when I was in Pennsylvania, because that's where we're moving to. I was, okay. You're moving to Pennsylvania? I am. I, when you said Maryland, I'm like, no, she's not. I keep hearing Pennsylvania and I keep seeing Pennsylvania. She's going to, be, and I just have been mm -hmm. sitting here fight, fighting, wow. my tongue, biting my tongue. But the reason I asked you is right. because they kept telling me you oh, were going wow. to Pennsylvania, that you lived in Pennsylvania. I just so got you back said, today. You said Maryland. I'm like, I'm telling you, this does not feel right. It that is so like, funny. Who am I to tell her where she lives? Wow. Yeah. So we got that connection. And that's something. Oh, yeah. yeah. I should have so. said, what's Pennsylvania then? When, when you told me Maryland, but you were in the middle of a thing. So I didn't want to be rude. Yeah. We're moving to Pennsylvania next month. So I, I thank you for. Oh, no problem. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I come really strong sometimes and, you know, that my energy can be really strong sometimes. Um, so I, I was like, I don't want to go to this lady's house. How can I find out what was on that property? So I um, emailed the company. I was like, um, I'm looking for a house over there um, for a friend. 
but um, I'm kind of concerned about the graves at the beginning. Um, can you tell me what was on the property <laughs> before the mobile homes? It was a graveyard. So I knew- I was, was going to say that more than just one had been moved. I felt like there it was a family plot and mm -hmm. there was much more moved than just mm -hmm. one. Yeah. And over there, it's other people that is having experiences. Wow. So I told my brother today, I said, I bet you they didn't um, take away all of those, mm -hmm. remove all of the graves. So, you know, but I just got the emails today. Oh, that's, that's terrible. Crazy. You know, they probably removed the headstones, but not the graves. Exactly. Because um, my nephew, um, he's he's young. You know, he's he's 15. But when he was 13, he was at the friend's house. And he said that the baby of the friend got slapped. And nobody was there. What? And I said, well, can I talk to the people? But the people moved. So I said, I, I bet you. Too. <laughs> if I uh, didn't I have these gifts and somebody is trying to attack my child. I know. Yeah. Put, up, put up your dukes. <laughs> yeah, they moved. They moved out. So, um, yeah, but that's what I'm actually concentrating on now with everything else is. Um, because the one lady, my nephew's grandmother, she wants me to come over to her mobile home because they see things in there. So, yeah, so I told her I will definitely go in there and see what's going on. But I know it's something. Yeah, it's but so I just, it's so sad yeah, but I, I had no idea. I learned just a few years ago that um, spirits can um, contact me. And I thought that I was seeing them because I knew I would see some, you know, some apparitions, but I didn't know how connected I was to it. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't mind me asking, Maria, how old are you right now? I will be 60 next month. No what? way. Let me, let me see your face. Let me, let me. No way are you going to be 60. No mm -hmm. damn way. Yeah. <laughs> My mm -hmm. girlfriend, she told me, and listen, this came from my girlfriend, so don't anybody try it. And she's black too, okay? She mm -hmm. said black don't crack. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Cindy, you're just jealous because black don't crack. I'm like, you're crack. <laughs> yeah, I'm 59. I'll be 60 next wow. month. The 8th of well, April. Mm -hmm. well, you look fantastic. The 8th of April? Oh, no. April. Yeah, I heard you say that. I was like, oh my gosh, her birthday is only four days before mine. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be 50 and you're going to be 60? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We yeah. have birthdays. So we have, have, we have a question. Um, Barry Martz, he says, what location are you moving at in uh, PA, Maria? Um, um, his Red birthplace Lion. is, what is it? Red Lion. Red, Red Lion. Lion. I'll be in York, York, PA. Okay. He because he says my birthplace is uh, Brookville, PA, but I grew up and live in New York now. Oh. And he should stay in PA. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, thank you, Robert. Uh, oh. I know you look young. He said, that's "Oh, my that's birthday. my birthday." Oh my yeah, goodness! Robert's birthday is the eighth. Also, yes. Yeah, Robert's in Australia. Birthday. He's in Australia. Wait, wait, wait. I just told Rob you were going to say that, Cindy, before you said it. Wait, what did I say that you were going to say, Joan? Private. That's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. But, yeah, that's interesting because, you know, the whole thing, like, we've heard stories, uh, and Cindy and I, especially here on, on, because we've celebrated over five years with this radio show. Oh, wow. That's now, awesome. which is now a vodcast as well, but yeah, uh, with video. But we've heard video. stories over the years where, um, you video know, people have. the radio star. Okay, Cindy, singer, singer, <laughs> Cindy. Um where they have the where, where property, you know, it was cheaper for them to leave the graves, but just just right. the gravestone. Right. You know, so that's why they did it. It's yeah. sad that it's always so, about money and not about yeah. you know the other things because they don't think about that stuff. But some of these mm -hmm. people that they have no experiences, mm -hmm. they have no clue, and they don't care. It's about no, nope, you got it. 
You got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to just thank you, Mario. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> Joan. <laughs> that, because Joan said, she's like, I just told Rob that you were going to say that, Cindy, before you said it. And I'm like, wait, what? That it was my birthday? What did I say that you? And she said, black don't crack. She, she said, I'll be, I'll be honest, that's the first time say. I've ever heard that. So, oh, yeah, they say it. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, they do. Listen, man, T have you seen Tina Turner? I'm just saying, yes. Oh, my god, she looks now fantastic. that is one gorgeous damn woman. And you, yep. I'm sorry, her but legs, I, you her guys, legs are you guys fantastic. might have gotten, what is, yeah, what are you guys, what is it called? Melon, is that melon, that's yeah, melon, melon, melanin. Is yeah, because I get it mixed up with melatonin. <laughs> right, me too. So, listen, I think that's one of the beautiful things about the melanin in your guys' skin is that it prevents wrinkles somehow. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I think you're right. That's true. I think yeah. that's true. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now. I agree, yeah. My friend, oh, she is so beautiful. <laughs> And she's like, you're just jealous. I'm like, listen, listen, I don't have that many. For 50, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> you don't, you don't really look 50, though. Aw, uh, thanks so much. You really don't. I'm keeping my mouth shut. Yeah. <laughs> my, um, I'm 54, my and I, all and I you see don't is look 54. I don't? No. Uh-uh. <laughs> I just, all I, I see is wrinkles, and then I take the hat no. off, and I'm like, oh, shit, the hat No, you still too. don't look 54. <laughs> Stop it, Teddy. Uh -uh. Mm, yes, Gary. No. Man, she's got that. some Thank great so legs. Much. We're talking about Tina Turner again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Chanel says she has a graveyard from her. 90 feet she, from my house. We have a graveyard here, 90 feet from my house, that's been here since 1890. Wow, Where yeah, that one was oh, this like um yeah, it was like the 1700s or the 1800s or something. Well, and the guy was yeah. yeah. I don't go and I, when I was a child, we used to it seemed like everywhere we lived there was a graveyard. Um the house that I had my first experience, it had uh -huh. a graveyard. And really? Yeah, and there was um a lady who had what I did was it's called I wrote a story called the church lady, but it wasn't enough that I knew about the lady that I could make it a full story. So I made it based on a true story. Right. So what happened was um, she was a nurse, hmm. and but I changed the story to make her a um, a an usher at the church, but. Right she used to walk to work and wow. at someone's house and she got hit by a car and she got pent up against I the knew fence. You were, I knew you were going to say that. Mm -hmm. So she used to go to the church and walk the, the graveyard. And I know my brother saw her, my sister saw her, another sister, my sister that passed away. Um, they used to see her. And, um, and she used to have a, I think my sister said a flashlight. Um, go ahead. I was just gonna say, can I ask a question? Sure. Your sister that passed away, did she sing? Because I just keep she, hearing she did. singing. She did. She had a beautiful voice. She does. I'm telling you right now. Mm -hmm. and, but she's also singing hymns to me, so I need you to know that she's singing hymns to me. Yeah, Not she just... used to sing in a choir. <laughs> yeah, she did. She used to sing in a choir. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, she, um, she, she just took, I'm sorry. I can't help it. You get me in a place where I'm in spirit all day. Go ahead. I'm telling you they're having their way with me today. <laughs> um, so she, she's, uh, she wants you to know that she's not in any pain anymore. Yeah. She came to me, um, a couple nights ago. Oh, good. And, yeah. And she told me that she was no longer suffering. Yeah, she's making me feel like her joints, like every joint in her body's hurting. Like that's mm -hmm. how she made me feel. Like, and it's also not just pain, but she also makes me feel this burny feeling. She had Do you understand um, that? she had gout 
uh -huh. uh, and in her no gangrene and her foot that had moved up to her leg. Oh my god. And yeah, she had a lot of ailments, um, her kidneys, everything. But mm -hmm. um she came to me in my in my dream. And wait, but, you saw a rainbow? I saw she a rainbow today. A, she just she so did you associate that with her? Because you should have, because she's telling me that she just she she said that the rainbow was her to or I took pictures you know, the of the rainbow was. today. Oh, <laughs> I did. Well, I took sister. pictures. I wouldn't stop until I took pictures of that rainbow today when we were coming from PA. She and I told my sister and my brother, I said, it's a rainbow, but it didn't rain. It's oh your my sister. gosh, this is amazing. That's your sister. So, oh, my. Um, I got goosebumps just now. So the truth has been spoken. Um, okay, you lit a candle for her, she's saying? I, I didn't. That? No, we didn't. Maybe her granddaughter did, but we didn't. I don't know. She's talking about this candle, so I don't know what this candle is. I so did. I did get a, a protection candle for someone else, but I didn't light it. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's just talking about the candle. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, is it, whether or not it was for her, um, mm -hmm. she could have just been with you when you got that candle. Oh wow. That is amazing. Yeah, she, um, I used to sing to her when she was sick. Um, you know, the song Loving You is Easy When You're Beautiful. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. So are you worried that your sister isn't going to, you're not going to see your sister because you're moving to Pennsylvania? Oh, no. I know she's always with me. She is. She's going to definitely be with you. Yeah. You Wait, know? your brother's not going with you, though? He's staying where he is? No, he's not going. So she uh, wants to make sure that you guys know that she's watching over you guys still, too. Like oh, she's wow. She's going to watch over him. She's going to watch over you. She's going to watch over the other sister. Wait, is there another brother, though? Uh-huh. Cause she is, she's talking about both brothers. She's like, I'm going to take care of, I'm watching over him. I'm watching over her. I'm, oh watching my over goodness. Our sister. I'm watching over our other brother. I'm like, wait, she didn't say anything about another brother. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you. Wait, her, your mother is with her too. Yeah. And, and your father. Yeah. Because she just brought both of them forward so that oh you my. know that she's with your mom and dad as well, okay? Yeah, when she came to me. Oh, she... your mom is so happy that she, that I'm telling you. <sighs> You're going to make me cry. Oh. Um, make she... me cry. Yeah. My mom she... is so happy I can't even begin to tell you. She was like that the other night. Oh, she, my Because I asked her about my mom and she brought Ooh. my mom to me. Yeah. Yes, your mom is so happy. Your dad, your dad is happy, but he's just like, "Yep, this is normal." <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, yep. Yeah, I wasn't just close another to day. him. Mm -hmm. What's that? I wasn't close to him. He wasn't. <laughs> so funny. Close. Yeah, your mom is is so excited. You understand if I feel like she's. You understand if I feel like she's spunky. She was. She is. She is. She has something to tell you. If she has something to say, you knew it. You <laughs> yeah. understand that? <laughs> you better not cross that woman. <laughs> Would she throw shoes at you guys? No. <laughs> I literally. Okay. So this has to mean something because I literally just saw a shoe go flying. So is that a joke or something? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't know. You better ask one of your siblings then. Yeah. But yeah, they both visited me just a couple of nights ago. And my sister told That's me awesome. that she's okay. Yeah. She is so happy and excited to talk to you. Right oh, now. thank you. Okay. Was your, mom, your mom was not very tall. I feel nope. like there's a, and but your sister feels like she was taller than your mom. You understand? She was. I, yeah. I see a size difference between them. And then your dad feels taller and thinner. You understand? He was short. Really? Well, listen. 
if they're if he's taller than your sister and your mother, he would still look taller. Yeah, that's true. Compared to because it's like ding ding ding. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. So just to say okay. this real quick, that that um, I had put it up that Barry Marks was talking about Red Lion being closer to Gettysburg, and we're going to oh, be in Gettysburg sure. in August. Uh, so yes, we are. Yeah, so if you're only 35 minutes away, girl, we're going to be in Gettysburg uh, at uh, Battlefield Bash yeah, right there in Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. oh, you're fine. So yeah, there's a big paranormal convention going on up in there. And, I um, think I'll be in Texas then, though. No. Oh, no, it's the end of mm. August that we're going to be there. Yeah, I might have to make a trip back. There you go. We'll send so, you the info. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's wonderful. Do you do you know what um, trains and your dad mean? Train. I do. He died on a train track. Oh. Okay. Oh my goodness. He literally just keeps, but the, so he showed me a conductor's uniform, you know, that railroad yeah. uniform. Yeah. And then that, that's how he wanted me to bring up the railroad he, or uh, trains. He died on a train track. I can't do this. You, I can't, you don't have to tell me anything. It, that's okay. No worries. Sorry about that. That's all right. That's all. Okay. He, that's all he showed me was that mm -hmm. one thing. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's for him just to make sure you knew it was him, right? Yeah, we knew. He um he had a uh so, so what is it a liver. Cirrhosis. Cirrhosis. Cirrhosis of yeah, cirrhosis of yeah, the liver. Yeah, he died on a train track. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. Thank yeah. you. Well, mm -hmm. you know, it, we, um, <laughs> now we've got a cone of silence going on here. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You started saying, so I was listening for what you were saying. <laughs> well, you know, it just popped in my head. It's like, you got to open your mouth, Ted. You got to say something. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Hey, you're supposed to be running this show. Don't don't be quiet now." <laughs> That's right. But it's just basically so they knew that you could validate basically, right? That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know the thing Obviously he's is, good though. I need you to know that obviously he's good. He's with your mom, yeah. he's with your sister. Yeah. That's good to know. Damn it, Cindy. Yeah. See what you did to our show. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. That's that's great. That's that's great. I for asked me. her permission first. Yeah, I that's know. good. I know. I appreciate I was just it. Joking. I was just joking. <laughs> so um, you know, we we've been talking about all this stuff, not just, you know, um that, but it's amazing to me how people in the paranormal, no matter where you are around the world, it th this whole subject of the paranormal brings us all together, which is it meaningful. does. It means something yeah. important. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. You know, I tell Cindy and everybody else all the time that I, I truly believe that that's because we all bring something to the table. We all have mm -hmm. something to, to share and that's to right. give. And it helps us not just to process things, but, kind of like love you know it, it kind of mm -hmm. comes in and, and it gives us different perspectives it gives us yes. a reach to another person it, to somebody mm -hmm. else who's experiencing the paranormal or the unknown um mm -hmm. to where we can share and that's what i love about this show as mm -hmm. that we've over five years the amount of people that we have talked to since yes. it's amazing you know, yeah, we're on yeah. 509 episodes, I think, right now. Wow. Congratulations. That's, That's amazing. A lot of people. That's a lot of people we have yes. spoken to. That's wonderful. Yeah. And uh, and you get to meet. I've been, here. Hmm? I've been for three of the years here. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah so that's great. what did I just say? Did I say 508? Yeah. 500. Is that what you said? 509. Oh, my goodness. Get out of my head, somebody. It's 208. 
or two hundred. I was gonna say because it's wow. it's like twenty four, twenty five, twenty. Yeah. So, yeah. but that's that's just with Spreaker because before Spreaker we were with Mixler. Yeah, because mm -hmm. there's only like thirty one of them I wasn't here with. Yeah, so we were with another network before we came to StreamYard. Yeah. Which oh. was almost a year of shows. Right. So, mm -hmm. okay, so, you know, add. Okay, so we've got to be I close think? to 300. We've got to be close to 300 episodes just That's there. Right. Yeah, with all that hang on. It would be four you know. times. It's still a lot. I don't care. Yeah. Else. So yeah. it would be like 52. A hundred and four, is that right? It could be. A hundred and four, you didn't do. I mean, it should be about fifty-two in a year, right? Right, right. But we yeah, had a year, I think, week. before. So, yeah. So we're close to three hundred. Wow. I think it's a hundred and four, hundred and five, hundred and six. Yeah, but still, that's amazing because like we had a hundred and six or so that I wasn't done. But we had shows where there were two people. We had shows where there was a group of people. We've had shows mm -hmm. where, you know, so we've interviewed a lot of people over the years. And I think it's amazing mm -hmm. that we've been able to touch that many people. Yeah, you know? it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just, it's fantastic. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I sat and I, I was going over some of our old episodes yes, and thinking about, you know, who we've talked to, like, um, New Orleans, mm -hmm. I think it was, we were talking, was it New Orleans where, um, maybe not, maybe it was, I don't even remember, but we were talking to the lady that ran the, uh, the estates. Um, I think you were a part of that, Cindy. I don't, don't remember. God, I'll have to find it and bring it up. Cause I wanted to bring her back because she was talking about seeing a little girl on the porch. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You remember what I'm talking about? I'm pretty and, certain uh, I know what you're talking about. It, yeah. it, I think it was Louis. I thought I thought it was the, Louisiana. Um, yes. See, is that the it. one where they have the um? What is it? Mardi Gras. Is it? Yeah, and Mardi Gras. But the um, is that the one where it has the famous um, those? Oh gosh, the trees on either oh, side. Oh yeah. You go. The trees that That's look the, like they have like spider webs all over them, that type of tree. Yes. And you go in because it's a very well known haunted place. Is that the yeah, one you're talking yeah, about? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's such a great location. I can't yeah. think of the name of it. What the Me hell neither. I can't mean? either. I'll have to look at it. But I, I, that's one place I've always wanted to go. Yeah. Um, you know, we, as paranormal investigators, I mean, when you get into this stuff, you always start out in cemeteries or or scary places, but right. when you can get into some of these locations that are just yeah. so old and so beautiful. Cindy and I, Maria, we we want to go to we want to go to England. We want to go over there to, to yeah Ireland. Yeah. Ireland. I want to go to England. Myrtles, yes, Chanel, thank you. The Myrtles, you, yes, Bob. that was Myrtle it. Plantation. The Myrtles. Yeah, yeah. The Myrtle Plantation. Yeah. What we were talking about. Yep. Yes, and we're, and and sh they saw the the little girl on one of the other. Um, yeah, cypress trees, thank you. Yes, yeah, cypress trees, yeah. But I wow. that would be such a great location. But we want yeah. to go over and do Jack the Ripper. Um, oh, in England. yes, we want I to go in London. We want to do that, yeah. Wouldn't it be fun? Yes, but you All know, the historic places, yes. But you know, sometimes I tell people, um, where for one thing, spirits are everywhere. Right, you know, oh, yeah. they roam. You better, you better close your curtain into your shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so, but um, sometimes because I remember there was a lady and she was posting on Facebook. She was posting pictures, and um, you know, and you know how people say they see this, they see that. But you gotta also remember, sometimes it's just energy left behind. Right, right, right. So, yeah. You know, so um, I, I know this one um, lady that she don't like going to places like the uh, asylums and prisons uh -huh. like because of the negative energy. Right. Right. You know, she don't like going. I mean, there to is it. lots of it in those places. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, so shit, it may not be. Stepped outside your door. I mean, today there's so much exactly. negative energy. Yeah. Everywhere. So you don't like mm-hmm. going to like. Uh, I mean, because sometimes if you if um, you know, yeah. and I was explaining to someone about imprints because they had yeah. mentioned, you know, I mean, I've heard yeah. knocks on my door and no one's there, mm-hmm. and I said, well, that's not saying it's a, it was a ghost. It could have been be an imprint, yep. you know. Someone yeah, call your right. name. It may not be a, a a ghost. It may have been when, you know, someone called you before, and then it's just the imprint left behind. That's that. It could be that, you know. So that's why it's really important for investigators to not jump to a conclusion so quickly, you know. Oh, I, I love that. You know, because you ha- you can't do an inv- an investigation in a day or two. It takes it takes a little bit. I love her. I love her. You know exactly. We agree mm-hmm. completely, Maria. Mm-hmm. I don't, uh, Maria. If you've never watched our show, you you would be so happy because we talk about this stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. We talk about it all the time. That's yeah. one thing about this show is that. You know, we we do not agree with one or two day investigations. No. We do not believe in jumping to the gun. We do not believe in uh, moving forward without having all the information you possibly could have. Exactly. Um, and and right. there's just so many things that we talk about here that that people just take for granted that they shouldn't. Right. Know? And being investigator, I, I know for myself, I've taken years on locations i don't yeah one day what does one day do what does that do for you exactly exactly and yeah and another thing is um oh gosh i lost my train of thought um i have to come back to it i forgot what i was gonna say but um uh oh yeah you know i wrote an article because i write for um, underground magazine and um I have written an article about, you know, as far as I, I don't, I don't use all of those. Um, yes. Yeah. Echoes of the past. I don't use all of those uh, gadgets and all. Some people do. That's okay. But right. um, it has so many outside interferences, you know, um, the, the weather can um, interfere with your equipment, uh, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, some of those um, EVPs, they are pre-recorded. You know, whenever I had a um, a communication with the spirit, it's all um, is here. What did you call it, um, Cindy? Where is telepathy? Um, I call it meta communication or quantum communication. Right, I, right. It's, it's quantum communication mostly. Right, quantum communication. Um. Because and it, and it, and I thought about the joke how people always say when when they say did you hear that you know how they do this with the paranormal especially on TV well actually somebody could have heard it when others didn't you right. know because maybe they're That's communicating true. you know what I mean absolutely absolutely yeah. so I mean sometimes you know when at our house. Um, my sister, the one that's no longer with us, she would see someone from the 18th century um, wow. ironing, and she had a teen daughter with her. And she, Aww. but she would only see the glow. You know, it wasn't solid. She would see the glow of them. And <laughs> one time they were in the living room. We were down there looking at TV. She was the only one who saw it. You know, we didn't see yeah. it. Yeah. Right. But you know, so it's, it's, it's different things that, you know, you can be right next to each other. You could hear it. One can hear it. Mm-hmm. Hear it. But um, it's just that they really have to um, start um, not jumping the gun, you know. Right. And, um, you know, because everything is in paranormal. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And that's what we talk about here. Is, I mean, there's so many things that can be, you know, explained away. You know, right. Not, not every location you're going to go to is going to be haunted or going to have exactly. a Exactly. Exactly. Well, yeah. not that you'd be able to see necessarily or hear anything. Right. Right. Well, there's just too many people to say, hey, 
you know, it's a preconceived idea that they get a call and they go to a place. Oh my God, it's haunted. And they go in there with right. an idea. And it's really right. not. Yeah. <coughs> so, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Not and then haunted it, by, not, not, um, not haunted in the fact that we could collect data mm -hmm. to substantiate any mm -hmm. kind of proof. Haunted. But you can't do it in one day either. So, no. you know, you, you can't. Just can't. No, you can't at all. You that's impossible, you know. Right. Um, and then sometimes um spirits may um reveal themselves to you but not to Cindy or you know right. correct. Uh, correct. They have to be comfortable with you, you yeah. know, and and then to um it, it's I just don't think it's 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 cool to work up work them up and then you know, I know a lot of people do ghost hunting for us. Um, Hi, Joe. Uh, but, you know, but if you call them up, you can't just walk away from the place. You need to send them on their way or else you're going to have them lurking about. <laughs> and that's not a good idea. You know, and, well, we've always one of the said, things, yeah, go ahead, Cindy. I was just going to say, one of the things that I always say is make sure that you're protected when you're doing this kind yes. of work. Right. So I was curious about the protection work that you do before you go do a um, investigation. Yeah, I always say a prayer um, mm -hmm. because, you know, to me, and I don't, I'm not getting religious, but um, they were um, defiant with the Heavenly Father. So that's who I send them back to when I see them. I send them back to him. He gives us the power to deal with them. So I I always say a prayer, you know, yeah. and um, to make sure I'm protected. You know, I never go anywhere. I even do that. I was talking, me and my, my niece and I were talking about that. Um, I think it was Saturday or, or, or yesterday, you know, um, that I say a prayer every day and every night because I know that spirits are always trying to get to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had them in, in my dreams. I had written to, uh, to someone who um, wrote a book about um, lucid dreaming. And I explained to him that I had uh, an exper experience, two of them, with spirits getting into my dream. And me communicating with them, telling them that this isn't real, that you are in my dream. But I wake up with a headache because I can actually see myself sleeping. And um, I, I tried to, um, I, in the dream, I tried to take a picture with my cell phone, but woke up because mm -hmm. I wanted to see what would happen if I was able to do that. Um, yeah. But um, I always say a, a prayer so I can be, it's, it's like I build a shield around myself. Yes. I build a shield around the house, the people in it. You know, yes. even my daughter, just sometimes she, she reacts to it when they come around. She knows. Well, Cindy's one that she protects everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, she goes I do. to her house and she protects mm -hmm. everything. Good. When I do readings, um, mm -hmm. Even though I know my house is white lighted, I'm white lighted. My children are white lighted. I white mm -hmm. light everybody and everything. It doesn't matter yes. how many. I did two readings today. I did white light each time and protect right. my house each time. I, right. I who's in the house and I do. Oh God, dang it! Are you okay? I just am getting this. I get this stabby kind of pain in my ear, and I don't know why. Mm. And so I probably should go to the ear, nose, and throat doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe really something's living like in there. Somebody's stabbing mm -hmm. my ear with a knife. <laughs> what do you think, Ben? Maybe you got something living in there. Lord have mercy. Don't even try and scare me with that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh, man. You're killing me. Mm -hmm. Tonight has been wonderful. I mean, this has been such a so relaxed conversation. Yes, I, I'm enjoying it very much. You know, it's uh, hello, Joe. 
And uh, yeah, it's just been because it, I was telling Maria backstage uh, before we started, it's like, hey, just think of it as like drinking coffee and chatting because that's the way it is, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't relax um, back on my bed pillow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got a new, I got a new mattress. I got one of those new, uh, uh, what do they call them, memory foam beds. Mm-hmm. It's been taking me a couple days to get used to that damn thing, but I'll tell you, I. I get down in there and I'm watching TV and it's like 10 minutes later. I'm out, <laughs> so nice. You need I'm good. that, Daddy. I don't sleep much. Yeah. So yeah, this is this is nice. Yeah. Very good. You know, so hell. Look, Robert. <laughs> nice spidey <laughs> ho- hidey hole. Um, <laughs> but you know, when you can sit down with friends and chat about topics that you love and things that yeah. you deal with every day. There's no better release and um, mm-hmm. calming feeling after it's all said and done, too. I mean, right. you know, it, the paranormal is just a love of ours. I mean, and, right. It is. You know, and, and if you can sit down and have a nice conversation without people getting heated and pissed off and all that other stuff, because there's so much of that out there that we don't need anyways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's happening every day. But, yeah. Uh, this is just, it's refreshing. It's nice. I mean, last Monday we had a nice one too, and it was oh, great. Too, so uh, I love it. Yeah. But mm-hmm. um, I was just going to ask something. Now I forgot though. Damn. <laughs> I do want to tag Monday show again because next Monday we are going to be talking. Um, actually, let me bring up the guys, the gentlemen. There's two. I don't know, but you do understand what he was saying. Nice spider hidey hole about, yeah. right? Your ear. Your ear. Mm-hmm. Funny, Robert. <laughs> it's creepy. All right. So next next Monday we are talking with authors Jim Bork. I'm gonna say Bork because I'm not sure how else to say it. And Bob Long. They have written a book on UFOs. And um, a lady that we have actually had on the show was actually wrote the um, uh, what do they call it? The preface for it. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. Oh forward yes um and um it's i've been reading it for the past month and i i was telling cindy earlier i just i can't put it down i mean oh wow so many like they they get into it with statistics and they really do their research and i think that's fantastic so it's one of those books where it's like you know you're not just reading something and just getting somebody's opinion you're also getting Mm -hmm. facts that they were able to dig up as well which Mm -hmm. i think is fantastic so i'm really really thrilled about um oh wow i gotta watch it yeah so next monday at eight o'clock folks right here on um wlfedb radio network and on paratalk radio we'll be talking with those two gentlemen about um joe chase says ted i have to read that well joe i am going to it's in my truck because i take it with me to work so um, I don't have it with me to explain what the book is or the title or anything yet, but we will have it next Monday. So make sure you're here. It's a, it's a great little book. And I have highlighted so many things that I want to bring up that I've never with other books that I've written about UFOs that I haven't even seen touched before. Mm. These, have, these guys have got some real information. That's so interesting. Yeah. So it'd be great. Cindy, what you got going on this week, hon? What do I have going on this week? Mm-hmm. Let's see. I have Taco Tuesday tomorrow. What? Taco Tuesday. And he calls it Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday is tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yep. Um, and that will be over on um, Cycle Bunny. No, yeah, Cycle Bunny Death Cult. Mm-hmm. And Psychic Cindy on Facebook and The Psychic Cindy on YouTube. Um, on Thursday is I'm back over here on WLFE-DB.com. Yep. I am doing uh, my Just Cindy podcast. That begins at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and it goes till 10 p.m. And last week we had so much fun. Oh, my gosh. I gave stuff away. And... <laughs> um, Let's see. Um, I'm going to do a live. I was going to do a live today for a March energy. Okay. And I'm going to be doing one probably tomorrow during the day now. Um, 
a March energy update because the energy is crazy. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Bob, that's awesome. Yeah. Yes. Getting some so love there, stars. Maria. Oh, You're getting some love. Yeah, thank yes. you. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Yes, Chanel. I need to. So Chanel even donated for some of the gifts that I gave out. Oh, uh, oh nice. So Chanel gave out some bracelets that, and my peeps won some bracelets and stones. Oh, so cool. And one of my masks. Oh, wait, where is my mask? <laughs> Nuts, I think it's over in my purse. I it's psychic Cindy and it has my phone number on it, and my logo, and it's a mask. It's awesome. Oh, cool. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Super cool. I I got the WLFE one sitting here. I was gonna give away this month and I totally forgot. Um, <laughs> so there's like two sitting over here that we need to give away. Probably we'll do it next week, if I remember. Fine. Um, but yeah, we'll get rid of those. Um I don't know. It's been this week for me. It, let me see. Uh, just going to be working on this stuff for the network, basically. I mean, yeah. our show tonight. And, That's a lot. Um, you do a lot for for us on the network. Well, to be honest. you know, and, and I do have this. Thank you, and, but I do have. I do want to say real quick here because I forgot about this. Um, Maria does have a website. It's Eternal Love zero four zero eight on Wixsite dot com. Um, backslash my site. So if you want to check that out, she has a, a website Perfect. there. So write that down. Eternal love zero four zero eight dot wixsite dot com backslash my site. Um, and yeah. that's cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me see. I want to talk about this briefly. I'm just giving you guys a heads up. I'm going to show you something real quick, and it's coming. Because if you guys don't know what the end of the month is, the end of the month is very important to me. Look behind me. What's That's that right. Way? So. Zero. Go there you go. Clash of the Kaju. Oh, my damn it. I'm falling out of my chair. Um, <laughs> You're lucky that you added on this. I know. So the king versus the god, the Clash of the Kaju. Uh, Monster vs. It's a special broadcast. Ooh. It's discussion and review of the new Godzilla vs. King Kong movie that comes out at the end of the month. We are having a special uh, discussion panel about the movie on April 3rd right here on WLFE-DB.com. Uh, the panel is made up of myself, Frank Clevenger from Psychomantium 13 and Psycho Bunny. And then we have Gerard uh, Zagummy coming back as well as a, a manual class. Um, and the four of us are going to sit down and rip this movie apart and put it back together and talk about the future of Godzilla and King Kong and what's happening with that whole series of the Kaju. Um, it's going to be fantastic. Awesome. Teddy. So, Teddy, yes. I need to figure out what day I'm going to do my birthday celebration. Oh, yeah. You got to let me know. No, so there I'm going go. to do, do my birthday celebration. I wanted to do tarot readings. And um, while we were discussing it, uh, either on my Tarot Tuesday or my, yeah, I think it was Tarot Tuesday, we were discussing it. And some of my tarot friends that come in and watch, they're like, oh, what if your tarot friends came and did birthday readings for you? I'm like, ah, what a fun idea. So I think we're going to do, we're going to try and get it together for both. I'm going to talk to my buddy, Dr. Mystical, and I'm going to mm -hmm. figure this out. So Very cool. My birthday. 50th birthday party. We got to do Very something cool. fun. That's do you remember yeah. your Dirty 30? My Dirty 30. Yeah, I do. I mean, it was just, uh, I probably just did I don't. something with my family. I'm so old that I forgot. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't think it was a big deal. I, I remember mine, but I had a dirty 20, too. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I remember my 21st birthday. Dirty 40? My and, yeah, my, my 21st birthday, my mom and dad took me out for my 21st birthday. So I had my mm. first legal drink with my mommy and daddy. Oh, I had my what? first drink with my brother, and I was 14. <laughs> and my mom didn't care. I had tequila with a little lime on the side, and but that was it. I didn't drink anymore, you know. Until oh, I, I got was you beat. Enough. I got you both beat. <laughs> yeah. I lived on a farm. We're just farm boys, and my uncle was the the head guy. And our deal <laughs> growing up was when nine, eight, 
seven, somewhere in there. It's like we got our first taste of brandy. We got old granddad. We mm-hmm. oh yeah. We, mm. <laughs> Mom used to rub Chanel. brandy on our gums when our teeth would come in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, that was back in the day. They did that. Now we have a what is that? Or a gel or something? Or a gel. Thank you. Yeah. Chanel said, "I went trick or treating for my thirtieth birthday." Girl, you can go trick or treating on every one of your birthdays. Her yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. look at this. Halloween. So, Maria, you are a gift. Hope you. Yes, I want to thank you. Tell you that. That made me feel great. Thank you, Rob and Ju- June. Yeah. Joan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Joan. Yeah. Thank you. That made me feel really good. Yeah. Um. Well, we got hiding what? in here. Uh, I love my. Oh, she's got an inside the drag closet mask. She oh, does. It's no awesome. Really? Oh my gosh. It's so awesome. Yeah. I know Jade's so show, awesome. Jade's show, like we have three LGBTQ shows um, on our network. We're, we're going to have a fourth here real soon. It's mm-hmm. called uh, yes. Rain, Rainbow Soul. Rainbow Soul. And, oh, cool. Yeah, it's a very, very cool. cool. Transgendered. Um, they're going to talk about everything, which is great. But Jade's show is they're they're all drag queens and they have a fantastic show. It's just amazing. Oh, awesome! Yeah, so you can always check it out. Just come over to wlfe-db.com and check I out will. all the shows. You can watch yeah. them right there on the website. Mm-hmm. They're they're all right there. Twenty four. You can seven. watch the ones that are that are old shows that have already been pre recorded that have been recorded and. Mm-hmm. Watch them live, too. and then you can watch them live. You just hit the live button, and you can watch the live ones yeah. as well. And if there's something live at that moment, it'll show you what's live. That's awesome. Thank you, Robert White says naughty forty, and then <laughs> Joe comes right up afterwards and says, "Oh my God, Maria!" <laughs> <laughs> and then cheers. So there you go, all at once. That's funny. It's what it's with the the tequila, right? For fourteen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we all have great people that follow our show, and like I said before, yeah, we sure do. They're they're fantastic. You guys are great. They're fantastic. They're fantastic. Fantastic. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Maria, you're welcome back anytime. Well, thank Um, you. You know, I love your energy, Maria. No, I'm sorry. I love your energy. Oh, thank you. I love yeah. you guys' energy. <laughs> ah, thanks. We're just wacky. <laughs> but then I, I guess I fit in. <laughs> That's right. There you go, girl. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I had a great time. Well, thank Good. you. Thank we you did so too. much for coming. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the invite. Uh, oh. So now it is 10 o'clock. Um, Dom's World. Uh, Real Talk with Dom is on right now at 10 p.m. And uh, go on over to WLFE-DB.com and you can watch Dom live right now. Yep, on Paranormal View. That's the name of the TV channel. And it's right there Uh, on the website. And you just hit the live button and it takes you right to him. Or you can find him here on Facebook Live somewhere on his page. Look for uh, Real Talk with Dom. Or YouTube as well. So right. there's three places you can check them out. So, all right. Well, Maria, thank you again for hanging out with us. And, oh, you are uh, most we, welcome. We appreciate your time, and uh, yeah, it was a thank blast. Thank you so much. So, oh, you are welcome. It was a pleasure. All right. Well, thank Cindy, you so much, Maria. Cindy? Do it. T- say it, Teddy. Say it. Do you know what time it is? I do, honey. <laughs> you do? Okay. Is it time to drink? I mean, is it time? (laughs) All right. Okay. 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 All right. Remember, folks, wherever there is darkness, there is always the The light. The light. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye now. You're welcome. Thank you for listening to Paratalk Radio with Ted Wolf and Psychic Cindy. Catch us next Monday for another fantastic guest. Please check out our show as well as others on the WLFE DB Radio Network. And remember, like, follow, and share with everyone. Join us at WLFE-DB.com for upcoming shows and so much more.